Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a quick re review on the Sealy Sponge. I've ordered it in December and I received it last week, I think, and we are in February. Um, I bought it on Molly Cosmetic on the website and it was £9.99 and it's the same in dollars. And it has like a scent. It smells nice actually. And the texture, like it's a lot softer than what I expected. So I'm going to be using the Healthy Mix Serum by Bourjois in the shade Vanilla as usual and I'm going to do my right side of the face with the Silly Sponge and on the other side I'm going to be using the uh, Complexion Sponge by Real Techniques. I need to spread it on my face like that and then up. Oh my god. I think I used too much already. Okay, so it's not good to go like in the crevices on the sides of the nose. When I dab like this like weird streaks and I feel like I'm deposing the product on top of the skin and my skin is not absorbing at all. It's ridiculous. It looks so thick on the skin and I can't, it doesn't absorb it. I'm so disappointed. This foundation is quite natural and it looks very cakey onto my skin. And if I touch it, like it's just moving because it's just sitting on the skin. It's just rubbish. It's just, in my opinion, it's just gimmicky. And it wasn't that expensive and you're not supposed to waste product or anything because it's not absorbing, it's silicone. But it's just not working. I've heard it's good to do like contour maybe and if you want to blend, I'll try to use it like that. Um, um, it's okay to go under the eye. Maybe I put too much product. Um, I have been blending for a while now, nearly five minutes, and it's not worked into the skin. And since it's not absorbing any product, you end up with lots of products onto your hand, and I don't like that. So now I'm going to do the other side, and with the Beauty Blender or any sponge, it's so easy. I'm gonna try and fix that side with the sponge because I'm not going out like that it's just too crazy and if someone touch my face I'm going to end up with like a weird mark because the product is just sitting on the skin so now I'm going to try um, the sponge I, see as you can see this product everywhere so it's just gross in the end um, so now I'm going to do my concealer Let's see how that works Oh, I'm doing the wrong side. Anyway, it's fine. I feel like I'm heating myself. I just don't feel it's a good like material silicone to use on plain makeup. It's just... I don't know. Oh, oh look at those streaks. Oh my god. The, okay, I'm giving up. This is... Honestly, rubbish. It's great, they wanted to like innovate and stuff, but mm -mm. I'm sorry, but that's not good. And people out there saying that it works and that it's great, they're probably using like so little product that you know makes no difference whatever you're applying it with. So it's when oh, it looks so great, I don't believe them. Okay, so I'm going to finish my whole makeup and I'll be right back. So my makeup is done and I just don't like this product. I don't even know if I'm going to keep that because what am I going to do with it? I might keep it and try different ways. Maybe it's like contour. I've heard maybe it's good to blend the contour. I might use that. If not, um, it will end up in the bin if I'm quite honest with you. I think it just doesn't work well. It's messy. I much prefer use... A sponge or even a brush this is just just too gimmicky for me and I haven't 
heard many good reviews about it. Most people say the same thing as me, that it was cakey, it didn't apply the makeup, the product just sit on the skin, just doesn't work, so don't waste your money. If you want to try it, give it a go. Maybe if you apply very little makeup and you want something to apply your moisturizer on, maybe try that. But um, just not worth it, just buy a sponge or use your finger, even better to use your finger. I think it's just gimmicky and it just doesn't work and made my makeup cakey and to make my makeup cakey without foundation it's really hard but then I managed to do it. So please don't waste your money.